Hey guys, welcome. Today we're doing Mario Bautista. Uh, if you don't know, we just done Ricky Simone, his opponent, and let's jump straight into it. No waffling. Okay, so we're jumping straight into it. Mario Bautista is 13 and 2. That's not a bad record. He's currently on a five winning streak, so that already does not look good for Ricky Simone because he's on a losing streak right now of one. His last fight was in August 19th, so he's a lot more active than Ricky Simone. He's 30, he's 5'9, so he's got the height. But he doesn't have the reach. He's got uh, he's got one inch shorter, which isn't too bad. That kind of evens everything out. Fair enough. He's currently number twenty two best in MMA bantamweight fighter. I want to very quickly check something. So Ricky Ricky Simone is at number eighty eight and number eleven for the bantamweight. So bantamweight is eight, eleven. He's number twenty two. So if he beats him, he becomes number eleven, right? That's how it works, right? Yeah, you take over someone else's spot. Prime MMA statistics. Here we go. One round. One in first round he got one TKO and he's had two TKOs or KOs in the second round. That's pretty impressive. He's been knocked out in the second round. So if we actually remembered the other guy, if we remember Ricky Simone, he actually can knock people out in round two. He does very well in round two, it seems. So maybe this could be a sign. I don't know. He's had his uh one submission in the first round. He's had four submissions. He's been he's submitted people four times in round 1. He's submitted two people in the second round and he has four unanimous decisions. His wins in the UFC is 7 and 2. So he's mm, okay. So if he is to lose, probably won't be by a decision. It will either be by a KO, TKO, or submission, but that doesn't mean a uh, decision doesn't happen. Also, it doesn't mean that a disqualification doesn't happen. All of the above can happen. So I'm going to say if he is to lose, I'm going to say he's either going to get KO'd or TKO'd in round two, or it will go decision, and it will be his first decision loss. And if he is to win, let's quickly check. Hmm... Unanimous decision was his last win. He was on Sean O'Malley versus Aljamain Sterling. I don't remember watching him fight. Wow. I don't watch that card. Renegade choke, armbar, renegade choke, decision. Um, lead uppercut to ground and pound. So he got ground and pounded, armbarred, and then he lost in the amateurs. So he could probably get submitted. And he'll probably, he could get ground and pound in round two. Against Ricky Simone. This, I like this though. I like this one because it's a lot closer. Ricky Simone has a lot more wins. So he's got more octagon knowledge, I guess you could say. Because it's not really ring knowledge because it's not boxing. So he's got a lot more knowledge inside of the octagon. So if this guy is to win, I'm going to say, I'm going to say he wins what I wanted. Uh, I'm going to say he's going to win either via... I'm going to say submission. I'm going to say if he wants to get this done, I'm going to say it's got to be a submission win. Both guys have very impressive submission losses. That doesn't sound good, but it is. It's better than what it sounds. He's only had one. And let me quickly check. And Ricky Simone has also only had one. So it's been one each. It's been one per person. So I don't... It's hard to call this one. Someone could probably sit there and be like, oh, this is easy to call. I can call it easily. I'm going to say submission. I'm going to say if Mario Bautista wants to win this, he's got to win via submission. And I'm going to say the other guy can win via decision. That's just my guess. But we'll have to wait and see. This weekend, this Saturday, is the fight. And I'll see if I'm wrong or right. And let me know what you guys think. Let me know who you, think's win who you think wins. And let me know how you think they win. And yes, predictions will be out this Friday or Saturday. But eventually they'll be out. But apart from that, have a good day. I'll catch you in a bit. Peace out, everyone.